Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Spark Performance Presents In The Field. Sorry for the introduction today, we had a little bit of problems with the environmental conditions when we were filming the initial video, but I still want to get this introduction across. I'm really privileged today to be joined by Gareth Shaw. Now Gareth is someone that I've worked with closely and I've got a lot of respect and time for. He also has a vast amount of knowledge within the golf psychology area. Today he's going to show you a little clip around commitment. Now commitment is one of these things that I'm always trying to strive to develop within the clients that I work with. And Gareth's got a really, really good applied technique. So I'll take it away. Yeah, spot on now. So as we talked about that, commitment in, a, in a, any shot, any action is important because if you don't, you're not going to commit, you're not going to get the action, you're not going to get the result that you want. And I really thought, saw this in action when I went to watch, I think it was the 2010 Ryder Cup, standing next to one of the players and they hit through the golf ball. They really accelerated through the shot. They didn't stop their action. What I see by a lot of amateur golfers is they'll kind of line up to the golf shot and go, okay, where's that one gone? They're already looking for where the shot's gone. They're not actually getting through the golf shot and committing to the entire process. I think something Lyle said that really well is it helps that process. It's aids, it's that final journey. You've gone through all the hard work, so let's see, let's commit to the action that you want to take. So what I've done here on the right side is my kind of commitment box for my golf club. My left side, my big B in my box here, is where my body's going to go. Because you don't want one without the other. So if I have my body without my club, it's not going to be the right shot. If I go with my club and not my body, it's not going to be the shot. It's got to be all together in complete motion throughout the golf swing. And then the final one, when I've hit my golf shot, is my mind box. Up here, I'm thinking to myself, how's the shot played out? Am I happy with the strike? And then reflecting on that shot to enable me then to feedback and go through the process again. So let's hit one and see how it goes. So I'm going to try and focus on getting my golf club through my box in front of me. That's the commitment, that's the driving through the golf shot. And then in turn, commitment with my body. Making sure my body's turning to that target chest down the target line. A little bit left to target, but what I'm happy with there is I got my club through the box on the right and I got my body to turn to the target. So what I then go away on and work on is that kind of delivery. But at least I've gone through the process and I've, I've got something now I can work with and something hopefully you viewers at home have got something you can work with on the driving range or in any other sport as well. If that's tennis, if that's cricket, you've got something that you can work through to help and support that commitment. Fantastic. Brilliant. And what I really like about this technique is one, it's applied, you can use it anyway, it doesn't have to be on the range as well, it can be absolutely anywhere in the back garden, be on the pitch, ev everywhere. Two, it gives you feedback. And three, it gets the mind and the body working together. As you said, you've got a mind box and you've got a physical box. Mm -hmm. Brilliant. I'd like to thank Gareth once more for that. And as I said, if you've got any questions, if you want to find out a little bit more information about this technique, I'm sure Gareth will be willing to help. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks, Gareth. <laughs>